And then last time I'm talking about the uh, patient, right? Now, understand anything about patients. No? But when you say patients, are you talking about patients and about the, 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 the motion of the hand coming out? Everything. The form? Yes, no, no, not only that. Everything is based on patient. Okay, like you control yourself, the temper, control your uh, thinking, control your motion to execute your Wing Chun, also based on patient. If you don't have the patient, you lose the temper right away. When you lose the temper, nothing exists. So but if you have patient, you can wait. That means you have passive mode. Always be passive. Then you always win. If you are on passive position, you always win. But if you are, don't have patient, you put yourself in the active position, you always lose. Because like, any motion starts with active. Okay, that means you are passive with being active. The end of that motion will be passive. Okay, if you start with passive, the end of the motion will be active. That's a yin and yang concept. Yeah, so understand that? To do with control? All to do based on your control. Control is based on patient. Okay, no patient, you have no control. What is natural? Natural is based on the, in that moment, it's the most smooth and natural position for that, uh, for, for that moment. That's called natural energy. If I do the form, that is the way I develop through the form. I do the form serum top. If I know how to feel the natural way, then from the physically, I develop the natural ability and that can help my mind be natural. My mind will be cool to it. Okay, I'm not so upset, uptight. How you do that in Silum Tao is to touch without touching. The motion wise, you got to learn how to do touch without touching. That means on my finger, you see I'm touching together. But look closer, I'm not touching. Okay, that got touch without touching. That is this natural energy you can feel so sensitive. In Wing Chun, first thing you develop through your finger, because that's the most, most usable part of your body. If you can feel from your finger, later on, you develop the structure. All the joy is sing apart, touch without touching. That you can feel the full so natural. After this hand be able to feel that in the serum town, then you feel your body, all the joy and stretch firm up, but firm up without firm up tight. It's all natural, so flow. That's the way you develop the energy. Relax it, be cool. If I do the serum town form like this, I'm so, I'm so natural, you see my hand so natural, right? But if like that, it's so tight. You already can see it. I produce the energy, tight energy. You can see it right away. I produce the, that too loose. That energy is no good. Okay? Now that is perfect energy. So natural. When you change the same thing, if you can control your energy, when I do stick your hand part of a view, there's no such thing, oh, you're too tight. No. Because if I think you're too tight, too heavy on me, because I am the one, don't know how to control myself, to fit into you. Okay, that's why Wing Chun always pull on your finger to yourself. If I feel something wrong, he is too tired, he too slow. Why? Because you are the one don't match you. That's me. My mistakes here, not there. But most thing, most people point the finger to the other. They, uh, they tell, I am too tired. I relax too tired. How come? If you are not tight with him, how can you feel it tight? All right? That's what the energy you have to develop. Physical wise, yeah. You maintain the wall. How you maintain the wall is control your center of gravity. Because everything based on center. This pole is called center of gravity. You stand in that line. They're all the way to control here. Okay. Then when the four come in, you control your center of gravity, then, then you bounce off. But if you cannot even stand right, the fall coming boom, your wall is falling. So then you're saying that it begins with the stance. That's why I learned the foundation, how to make you stand right. That's why you got to know how to stand right. Okay.
all development is through the first form seal limiter. Small idea. Okay, that's why in the Wing Chun, the first form called seal limiter. That's a small idea. Start with. First, I have one idea. I want to be a fighter. That's my idea. Now, how can I be a good fighter? I got to develop punching. How to get punch right? How you develop punching right? They develop your your ligament of the joint, pop you out, lose up. Okay, that's another idea. Now, how can I make it pop out? Yeah, that's another. That's, you got to know the integrity structure. One move, everything move. Okay, that's a, another idea. Okay, and then how do I maintain? That in tension get this structure, one move, the, uh, the whole thing move, uh, how to make it move right, have one thing in a young concept. One part the, the, the structure don't move, but the other part is moving. That's the, the tension get this structure. Just like this one, okay? That structure here, I move, everything move. That is called the, the synergy. Okay, but. How come I need to see it move? Because I'm holding this part here. That is my spy, center gravity right here. Then when I do a punch, punch out, see everything move. Punch in, punch out, go up, go down. Every part of the body is moving if, if one move. But only one move, but one don't move. In and yet, then it make it work. But if everything moves, one more, everything moves, there's no more moving in between. Understand the concept? There's, those are little ideas. Each one is a little idea. How to make it together to make it work perfect. That's what you have to learn. It's nothing, oh, brain change of fighting. I just know how to punch, that's good enough. Then you're not learning the whole deal. Okay, learning, fighting, Fighting in Wing Chun is one little idea only. Okay? This is not the whole big picture. The bottom line is, start to learn Wing Chun, number one, know how to find out the true self, what you can do, or how you can control yourself. That's the main thing. If you don't even know about yourself, you won't be able to know about the other. Example like, for example, if I cannot even stand right, okay, I don't feel how I'm supposed to stand, then I won't feel the, my opponent, how they stand. Because the standing is the foundation of my structure, everything based on how I stand. Okay, if I cannot even know how to stand myself, how can I feel he stand? I cannot feel. But if I know how I feel, I can see how he doing wrong. I can attack his root. Because how he stand is his root for everything. I know how to control my center gravity. Now, how you feel the way in the center, you can don't think, oh, I just keep it straight. In some form, if you just keep it straight, you are not, you don't have the right idea. You have to keep it moving. Like that, you're moving, then you can feel how to control. How come I can have to do that? Now, when I do some form, for my soul, you. That's you may not heard it before, but I tell you, okay? From here, I every time for you to see. I just, it's perfect, right, okay? Now, if I grab my toes, I make my body move. Now I can feel I'm controlling my center gravity. Each time, I grab, lose, grab, lose. But when I do the form, you don't see what I'm doing. I do like this, I can feel it. That means I totally feel my center gravity moving by me. That means I can control my center gravity. If I don't move my center gravity, I don't know how to control it. In the form, I can move it. In order to learn how to control by the toe, I move, move, move. Okay, now I can feel the motion of the center gravity, I can control. That's the way you develop. Don't think, oh, I just do it without moving. Do the whole form two hours without moving. You are not developed how to control it. That's part of the development. Okay, you can move it. The pen, I control the pen like this. I cannot control by holding all day long. I have to control the pen to write. Now I move the pen, now I control the pen. Without moving, I'm not controlling the pen, I'm just holding it. 
That's, uh, yeah, when I when I move the uh, wave a little forward, my knee is adjust, uh, come a straight, bend straight. Because I move the center grand straight this way, it's not this way. Understand that? I move my center this way. I'm not moving center this way. Now the 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 uh, uh, the problem is if I stand like this, uh, perfectly. If I do the wall, I will be like this. I'm rocking, step on rocking motion. I'm not a controller. Yeah. If I do like that, then my toes grab, like back, grab, back. I'm working on this forward, backward, forward, backward. But if you control like that, don't emphasize it. Because you have to control naturally. This is when I do this, it's natural, you don't see what I'm doing. But you know, if I have bare feet, you can see my toes, my big toe, grabbing, losing, grabbing, losing. Yeah. When I do the form, my elbow sink, sink without sinking. Sink like that without sinking. I'm not sinking like this, that's too much. I am tiny. I just relaxing, sink. That means all the joy, I relax, naturally stretch out. Stretch out the joy, stretch out the joy, stretch out the joy. That is called stretch without stretching. You don't see I'm stretching, but I'm stretching. And then my knee, same thing. Knee and elbow is movable. The knee adjusts uh, the foot, can move the center gravity back and forth. But the knee, the toes, okay? That's how the knee bend, sink up and sink up. But don't emphasize, if I can see you moving like that, it's too much. You can feel I'm singing, I'm raising, sinking, raising like that. Those are called natural motion within yourself. That's why you get to know yourself, know what I'm doing. I'm knowing myself. That's what Wing Chun teach you, I tell you. That's why I don't think Wing Chun only teach you how to fight. It teach you how to be a man or how to be a woman. <laughs> okay, so much for that.